welcome back to just academy mathematics channel where we make you a mathematics genius today we are going to be concluding uh, our series on um, matrix multiplication of matrix uh, multiplication of matrix by another matrix um, this is the third class on that series so if you have not seen example one two uh, three four and five please kindly watch uh, them uh, so that you'll be able to get a proper understanding of this class now uh, we have a question uh, example six we're given a matrix as you can see we are asked that given that p is equals to this matrix evaluate p raised to the power of three and then p square minus p plus identity this is the three by three identity so let's see what we are going to do with this so for the first one we are solving for p raised to the power of three mm -hmm. we are solving for p raised to the power of three p raised to the power of three simply means that uh, we are to solve for three two one minus one minus two zero minus three four minus four we are going to solve it raised to the power of what three and what does that imply it implies that three two one minus one minus two zero uh, minus three four minus four with times what with times three two one minus one minus two zero minus three four minus four also with times what with times the same thing three two one that means we are we are to triple the matrix uh, raised to the power of three four and what minus four here uh, so this is what we have now so we are going to deal with these two first uh, and of course we know the operation let's see how it goes this column times row sorry row times column this first row times first column first row times second um, column first row times third column second row times first column times second column times third column that is the process so let's go there now we start with um, three three times three is what nine of course minus one times two is minus two minus three times one is minus three comma that is for this first one then we'll go again three times minus one is minus three minus one times minus two is plus two minus three times zero will give us zero uh, we are done with that then we'll take the last uh, this thing three times minus three minus nine minus one times four minus four minus three times minus four will give us plus twelve uh, so that is for this first one you can put a big bracket here now now let's do repeat use the second row now times in uh, the first column second column and third column two times two is what two times three is six uh, minus two times two is minus four uh, four times one is plus four then we'll go again two times minus one minus two minus two times minus two plus four four times zero is what zero that will go again two times minus three will give us minus six minus two times four will give us minus eight sorry not plus minus eight and four times minus four will give us minus 16. Uh, then finally the the third row times in this one two one times three will give us three 0 times 2 will give us 0, minus 4 times 1, minus 4, and 1 times minus 1, minus 1, 0 times 2, plus 0, minus 4 times 0 will give us what? Another 0. So we we'll go for the last uh, one, 1 times minus 3, minus 3, 0 times 4, of course 0, and minus 4 times minus 4, plus 16. So this times this is this. We can just step this one down here. Uh, that is 3, 2, 1, 
minus 1 minus 2 0 then minus 3 4 minus 4 uh, so uh, before we conclude it what is this matrix now this matrix will be uh, 9 minus 2 7 7 minus 3 4 here is 4 uh, um, minus 3 plus 2 will give us minus 1 minus 9 minus 4 is minus um, 13 minus 13 plus 12 is minus 1 then here is 6 of course minus 4 plus 4 is 0 we are left with 6 here is um, minus 2 plus 4 is 2 and here is um, minus 6 and this will give us uh, oh all of them are minus so let's take it here again this and this will give us um, 6 and minus 6 minus 8 is minus 14 is it not minus 6 minus 8 is minus 14 minus 14 minus 16 will give us minus 30 then uh, 3 minus 4 is minus 1 minus 1 here and finally minus 3 plus 16 is 13 13 positive 13 so this is the answer for multiplying what when you multiply uh, when you multiply these two this is the answer we will get now what do we do now the next thing we are expected to do is to times it with this last one now this this minus one minus two zero minus three four minus four so we do the same multiplication to now get our final answer uh, so equals to again let's go uh, four times three is 12 minus one times two is minus two minus one times one minus one comma we go again first row times second column four times minus one minus four minus one times minus two plus two minus one times zero will give us what zero and then four times minus three minus twelve minus one times four minus four minus one times minus four will give us plus four uh, so uh, let's take on this second row times this times this times this six times three will give us 18 uh -huh. two times two will give us plus four minus 30 times 1 will give us minus 30 comma 6 times 1 will give us minus 6 2 times minus 2 will give us minus 4 minus 30 times 0 will give us 0 comma 6 times 3 will give us minus 18 6 times minus 3 6 times 2 times 4 will give us plus 8 and minus 30 times 4 will give us minus 120 yeah minus 30 where, did I, where am i yes minus 30 times minus 4 minus 30 times minus 4 will give us plus 120 uh, are, you, are, are you there now so let's take the last one row column 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 minus 1 times 3 minus 3 minus 1 times 2 minus 2 13 times 1 will give us plus 13 uh, and that is all for that minus 1 times 1 will give minus 1 times minus 1 will give us 1 then minus 1 times minus 2 will give us plus 2 13 times 0 will give us 0 and finally minus 1 times minus 3 will give us 3 minus 1 times 4 minus 4 13 times uh 13 times 4 will give us what will give us 56 52 13 times minus 4 will give us minus what minus 5 and 2 ah uh, so let's add up to get the final answer 12 minus 2 will give us what 10 10 minus 1 will give us what 9 minus 4 plus 2 will give us what 
minus 2. This is minus 12 plus minus 4 plus 4 will give us 0. So we are left with minus 12 here. Let's check the, the second row. 18 plus, 18 plus 4 will give us what? Will give us 22. 22 minus 30 will give us minus 8. Minus 6 minus 4 will give us minus 10. Um, minus 18 plus 8 will give us minus 10. Minus 10 plus 120 will give us 110. Minus 2 minus 3. Minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. And minus 5 plus 13 will give us 8. Minus 5 plus 18 will give us 8. Then 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 0 is still 3. Finally, uh, 3 minus 4, minus 1. Minus 1 minus 50, 52 will give us minus 53. So this is the answer for the first part, which is uh, P raised to the power of what? 3. P raised to the power of 3. That is the answer for P raised to the power of what? 3. But that is not the uh, final distance. Uh, the now say we are to find what? Let's let me finish up. We are to find I I. Look at I I here. Uh, we are to find P square minus P plus identity. So P square. Already we know the value of P square. Look at P square here. We we'll just pick P square. We have done P square there. This time this is P square, which gives us this four six one. I'll just write it out. That is the value of P square. Uh -huh. Then we can take it off from there. Uh -huh. So, so P square is four six minus one minus one two minus one minus one minus thirty thirteen. That is P square. Uh, so we can do others from there. So since we have we have got we have solved for P square before, minus P. Of course, P is what is given. 3, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2, 0, minus 3, 4, minus 4. Then what do we do? We add identity to it. Identity. 3 by 3 identity is 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That is 3 by 3 identity. Uh, so uh, let's, let me just cover this so that there will be no distortion with that. Mm -hmm. Now, let's do the addition. So 4 minus 3 will give us 1. 1 plus 1 will give us what? 2 minus 1 minus minus 1 minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 so this is like saying minus 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 0 here we still give us what 0 so we we'll go again minus 1 minus minus 3 that is minus 1 plus 3 that is 2 2 plus 0 is also 2 then we'll go again 6 minus 2 is what? Uh, this is 6 minus 2 will give us what? Minus 4. Am I correct? Uh, yes. 6, where is it? 6, yes. 6 minus 2 will give us what? Will give us 4. Uh, 6 minus 2 will give us 4. 4 plus 0 will still give us 4. 6 minus 2, 4. 4 plus 0, 4. 2 minus minus 2, that is 2 plus 2. This time this is plus. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 1 will give us 5. Minus 30 minus 4, minus 34. Huh? Plus 0 will still give us minus 34. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, plus 0 will give us minus 2. 
minus one minus zero will give us minus one plus zero will still give us minus one and finally 13 minus 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 times minus is plus 13 plus 4 17 17 plus 1 18 this is the answer for this one hmm? this is the answer for this so the answer for the ii is 202 Four five minus thirty four minus two minus one eighteen, and that is the answer for this. I you get what I'm saying. Uh, so, very important, very very important. Now make sure you see the the last video, uh, the last question, and that brings us to the last question for uh, in this series of multiplication of matrices. That is example seven. Look at example seven now. Example six seven says that given that, given that. A is equals to this and C is equals to this. Find the matrix B if A B is equals to C. What will be the matrix B so that A times B must be equals to C? You need to be very careful here. This requires some mental calculation. Now, remember that as this matrix is now, A cannot times C because the row, the elements, the number of elements in the row of A is 2, 1, 2. Cannot times the column, which is 3. If this times is this times, it's all times 9. So A cannot times C. But they are telling us that we are to look for B, matrix B, a new matrix, so that when you use A to times that B, it will give you this C. Now, first of all, the most critical part of this question is you need to know the dimension of B. That is the only way out. The dimension of B cannot, must be, the column, the column of B must be 2 because the row of A is 2. So if the row of A is 2, the column of B must also be what? 2. Uh, so B has to be, this, since this is uh, 3 by 2, B has to be what? B also has to be, since the column is 2, and this has only 2 columns, so B automatically has to be 2 by 2. This is what I mean, so that you understand what I'm saying. We are looking for A, B equals to C. And what is A? A is 2 minus 1, 3, minus 3, 4, 1. What would be B? The matrix of B, I said it has to be 2 by 2. Let it be A, B, C, D. Equals to minus 5, 10, 9, 5, minus 5, 2. Now, let me show you why it has to be this. The way it is now, notice that 2 and 3, this contains this 2 elements, 2 elements. This, 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 this then this one this 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 at the end of the day it will form a what a three by what two matrix because this is uh three in the column here times in this so if you go like this this will times this this will times this that will give you just two two values uh this will times this this will times this it will happen three times that will correspond so apart from knowing that a must be two two elements in the column, you need to know that it has to be two elements in the row too. It can be A, B, C, D, E, F. No, it won't work. So now that we have ascertained that, what do we do now? Let's go ahead and then do the operation. We are looking for matrix B. This is matrix B now. This one now is what we are looking for. Let matrix B be A, B, C. Uh, we are looking for find A, B. A, B is equals to C. Uh, so we have said let A B, B uh, equals to A, B, C, D. Now let's go. Let's do this multiplication. This with times this. That is, I mean, 2 times A, 2A, minus 3 times C, minus 3C. Uh, are you following? Now, comma, then again, 2 times B, uh, 2B, minus 3 times D, minus 3D. Then we use this one to go. Minus 1 times A, minus A. 4 times C, plus 4C, comma. 
minus 1 times b minus b 4 times d plus 4d then we'll go again 3 times a 3a 1 times c c comma 3 times b 3b 1 times d d this must be equals to what this must be equals to minus 5 10 9 5 minus 5 2 now watch this now see what will happen here now we now need to look for a way to find a b c d uh, of course this is equals to this this is equals to this. you can just pick any of the equation for instance we want to find a and c first if we want to find a and c we can use this this two equation this is what i mean that 2a minus 3c must be equals to minus 5 that is this place equals to this in the same way if i use the second one minus a plus 4c must be equals to what 10. so if we use the elimination method now uh, we want to find a and c of course we can operate it like this that this is 2a minus 3c equals to minus 5 minus a times 4c equals to 10. let's times this one with two and times this one with one the coefficient of a here is one put it here a here is two times it uh, so we have 2a minus 3c is equals to minus 5 and what and we have minus 2a plus 8c is equals to what 20. of course if you are following and if you know simultaneous equation you know that this one is out now by addition this plus this is what is 5c and this plus this is what 15. so what that means is that c is equals to 3 because the bible said by 5 c is 3. if c is 3 can we find a yes we know that minus a plus 4c is equals to what 10. so anywhere we see c we put what we put 3 this is 3 now equals to what 10. so we have that minus a is equals to 10 minus what 12. so that will give you minus 2. therefore a is equals to what 2. Uh, because this and this is minus 2. Uh, multiply both sides with minus or divide both sides with minus 1. you have that a is 2. so we have gotten a to be 2 and we know c to be what? c to be 3. now let's go and find let's find uh, b and d. i think we use the same method. Uh, we do the same thing to find b and d. now for b and d let's use these two now. Uh, we can use minus b plus 4d must be equals to minus 5 of course and we that is this one now we can also use this this last one you can use this it does not matter anyone you use we will use 3b plus d is equals to what 2. Uh, so what are we looking for now uh, we have minus b plus 4d equals to minus 5 and 3b plus d equals to what 2. let's multiply this one by 3 and this one by 1 so that here will be what minus 3b plus 12d is equals to minus 15 and 3b plus d is equals to 2. of course this is out uh, this and this will give me what 13 d and this and this will give me what minus 13. of course what do we have there now d is equals to minus one so if we know that d is minus one can we find b yes because we know that minus b plus 4d is equals to minus five so we have that minus b plus four times what minus one is equals to minus one so we know that minus b is equals to minus five this is minus coming here will become plus what four and this and this will give me what minus one divide both side by minus or times both side by minus you have that b is equals to what one are you seeing it now so we therefore conclude that the matrix b look at it here let me squeeze it in here therefore therefore what is matrix b matrix b is equals to what is a a is what two where is b b is um 
One, what is C? C is three, and what is D? D is minus one. So this is the matrix. This is the matrix that when you use this matrix now to times this one, this is what it's going to give you. Uh, if you use this matrix A to times this uh, two one, three minus one, this is the answer it will give you. Uh, so that is it for this class. Remember, you can settle down watch the video over and over again to internalize the procedure. In our next class, we are moving into determinant of matrix, determinant of matrix. Uh, so make sure you see the next class. And then if you have not uh, following us, make sure you follow us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. The handle is just Academy Mathematics. Same for Facebook, just Academy Mathematics. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one tutorial, you want us to teach you one-on-one, -on -one, you want to learn math, you just need somebody to put you through step-by-step, -step, then we are available. Just reach us via our WhatsApp uh, line. Thank you. See you in our next class.